In this tutorial, we will make a kick drum synthesizer. Before we start, let's just look quickly at the structure of what we will build and the logic of the synthesis. The meat of our sound will come from a square wave oscillator. We will add to this a pitch envelope to create a diving blip sound. We will also add a volume envelope so that the sound does not just go on forever. Next, we will add a resonant low pass filter and pass the square wave oscillator through it. Our pitch envelope will also be used to drive the cut off frequency of this filter. We will add a little more of a percussive click with some white noise. That is also sent to the filter. Finally, we add a sign tone that is also driven by the pitch envelope. So let's go back and start from the simple square wave. We have used this very simple approach to the square wave oscillator in previous tutorials. The phase or goes from 0 to 1 at a certain frequency and we check to see if it is greater than 0 0.5 or not, outputting a 1 or a 0. Now let's add a volume envelope. We will use the V-Line object for this. It takes a complicated message that tells it how to change over time. In this case we tell the volume to go immediately to 0.5, then to rise to 1 in 5 milliseconds, then to drop again to 0.5 in 60 milliseconds, and finally to go to 0 in a time that we will specify. The $1 allows us to send a number into the message to specify the final decay time. We will set that up in a sub patch and make it simple to control with a number box. We can reuse this envelope sub patch to make the pitch envelope too. We will make a few changes though. The message is simpler. We go from 1 to 0 0.5 in 5 milliseconds, then to 0 in the specified decay time, again using the $1 symbol, rather than staying in the range 0 to 1 though. We will scale up the output so that it is in a more useful pitch range. We specify the range with MIDI pitches, then convert to a frequency with the audio M2F object. We then hook this up to control the square wave oscillator. It is quite useful to control the scaling of the pitch envelope to sculpt the sound, so we will add a number box here.
Great. We now have this part of the system set up nicely, so we can now add the resonant filter with the VCF object. Remember that we want the right outlet of the VCF object because this is the low pass output. And now we can use the pitch envelope to control the filter too. We will add another control for the scaling here too. Adding the noise is very simple. We simply create a noise dildar object and add it into the filter. Adding the sign tone is also quite simple. As before, we use the pitch envelope to control the oscillator frequency and include a scaling control number box. That is working nicely. We can add inlets and outputs and then paste everything into a sub patch. We can then also add some useful controls as numbers and sliders. Note that we will give the sliders a specified receive name, like kick underscore decay or kick underscore pitch.
This allows us to send messages to our controls. We will use this to generate presets shortly. We can create a simple message object and use this to recall specific settings by starting the message with a semicolon and then including our parameters. Make sure each line ends with a semicolon. Boom 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 boom